Do you hear that voice? Do you hear that voice? If you're hearing that voice, we must be live. We're live coming at you because we know how to do audio on this show. You are watching the only live music show in Lowell, the LTC Sessions that actually cares about sound. We're coming at you live, and this week we got an extra special guest. We got Lux, a soulful, jazzful, funky band from Newburyport. I hope I'm correct on that because I'm not even live right now. I am 50 miles away, but that don't stop the LTC Sessions. Nobody has to be here. Everybody has to be here. Thanks for coming down. Check it out. Without any further ado, LTC Sessions with Lux.
with all your so-called slick tricks. You can guess I've had enough. Time to hit the bricks. Let's scream, though. Let's scream, though. Hit you. Oh, let's scream, though. No, no. Let's scream, though. Hit you. Don't let the scream back. Yeah. Don't let the scream back. is uh, called Fatah Smoo. <laughs> Thank you. 
remember, the only thing that keeps Maximus Sack out of the studio is a call from Hollywood. No. Hollywood. Our next song is um, uh, called Brooklyn Bridge.
thank you. Our next song is going to be Two Fingers Noose.
All right, it's that time again. It's time for intermission. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Things are pretty liquid, pl pretty dynamic around here. So we might be doing an interview with the band. We might be showing some old footage. I don't know. We might just be showing dead air with lousy audio. No, just kidding. That don't happen on this show. Anyway, Dell TC Sessions taking a break. I'm your host, Maximus Sack. Hopefully you're watching uh, at home or you're watching at Detentions, the last safe and deposit company, because uh, they're hosting a viewing party every Thursday night. So wherever you are, if you're watching it, you're somewhere. Blah!
pressure's up and down. And are you drinking? Let your boat on. Gentlemen, we are live at the LTC sessions with our band of our of the month of July, Lux, and uh, they've been putting on a great show. Um, before I ask any questions about the band, I need to know about Todd's instrument because I've seen the saxophone, I've seen the drums, but what are you playing? No clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like a guitar. Would you call it a guitar? It's an eight-string guitar. It's an eight string, uh, half bass, half guitar. Um, runs in stereo, so it's like two instruments in one. Yeah. Got it. And um, what inspired you to pick that up or play it? Because I've never even seen one before. So, like, was there an influence of um, a certain band or player or maker of the instrument that inspired you to, to pick it up? How long is this show? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've always been a Charlie Hunter fan right. who um, invented it, okay. um, but for years I've never had any interest, and it just became functional for what I do. And once I started playing it, I loved it. It fits me. You know, it's hard as hell, but it fits <laughs> me. Yeah. Awesome. I was definitely hearing the Charlie Hunter vibe because he puts it through the rotary speaker too, right? To simulate an organ in a way. Organ, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, yeah, we got uh, Todd on the eight-string guitar, Blair on the vocals and saxophone, uh, Happy Hour on the tenors and alto sax, <laughs> Happy Hour Holiday, that's his real name, birth name, and uh, PJ on the drums. 
So I'm going to field this one over to PJ. Um, can you tell me a little bit how you guys met, how you guys came together? Yeah, so it's kind of funny. Um, Todd had just finished doing his thing out in Colorado, whatever that was, you know. And he came back to the North Shore of Massachusetts, where, you know, the rest of us are based out of. And he's actually old friends with mine and Jared's father, believe it or not. We're brother. Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> and last name, who knew? And um, he was like, hey, I need a drummer and a sax player for this idea I have. And my dad was like, well, that's funny because my sons are both, you know, sax players and that drummer. So it just kind of was magic. You know, it all just kind of fell into place. Todd's stuff was really challenging and cool. And it's just been kind of going for, what is it, like six years? Six years. six years now, man. Yeah. So, you know, we've had a lot of different, like, iterations of Lux, you know, kind of a revolving door of people for a while. But Blair's only been in the group now for January. since January. It's kind of one of those magic things. You just dropped right in and it was a perfect fit. And, you know, we've just been trying to make a push and play as much as we can, make some music and, you know, put the vibe out there, you know? Totally. And the vibe is good. I like the vibe of Lux. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a fun little group, you know? We, ha we have fun, man. Nice. Um, so when can people catch you guys um, coming up next? Oh, you're going to have to send that one over to Todd because my, my date book is packed right now and I got all these dates floating around in my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Who who's got the best calendar in their in their mind right now? Back to Todd, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. Um, so July twenty seventh will be at um, the Yankee Homecoming with Hungry Tree and Jake Galloway um, in Newburyport. Um, we'll be playing from two to three on Market Square. We have a CD release party August seventh at the Newburyport Brewery. <laughs> um, Hungry Tree will be playing as well with that. <laughs> We're playing at Riverwalk up in Nashville, New Hampshire, the 16th of August. 16th. 16th? No, 13th. Excuse me, 13th. Okay, 13th. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And um, I just was informed of a recent gig. August with 21st? August 21st. Um, the at the Zorba Room. Um, and there's one more I'm forgetting. Uh, 30th. Uh, the, yeah, uh, we're playing at Nix's Newburyport. Um, called Jazz Night. Uh, we're playing with Hungry Tree again and uh, C-Dub Trio. Ooh. Yeah. Right. So you guys play a lot in North Shore and Merrimack Valley area. That's good news. That's yep. good news. Very nice. Um, now, Happy Hour was holding up this piece of art here. Can we get a zoom in? Can we get a, a, a zoom on this one, Mitchell? Oh, yeah. Bring that right in there. This is the Lux. This is the new Lux CD called Fat City. Yeah. Fo bring that into focus a little bit. All right. <laughs> it's a beautiful picture of people swing dancing in the city. Oh, we got the band shot from underneath. Now, are those all original songs? Yes. All original songs. Amazing. That's awesome. And where can people pick this up? As of right now, shows. At live shows. Okay. Find us on Facebook and send us a message. What's the Facebook handle? Slash Lux? Yeah, slash Lux. Cool. And where did that name come from? I was in a band. Save the mic. <laughs> I was in a band called Guaranteed Swahili, which writing that name became a pain in the ass. Right, oh, right. can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just happened to see the word Lux somewhere, and I thought that's going to be a band name. Three letters, easy. Yeah. With an X, I mean, yeah. you can't go wrong with an X in your name, yeah. right? <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. And na names mean a lot. I'm glad you chose one that that works. And it kind of, it implies luxury a little bit. It implies like a nice fancy vibe. Yeah, so, light or light, yeah. Light. There's other, oh, deluxe. Yeah, I w we can take apart that, that yeah, Latin. Or you know what I mean? Small country, you know, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. All right. I had to say something, man. <laughs> right, right. right. can't be the only one that has to say something, all right? <laughs> yeah, in the uh, behind the scenes uh, footage, which you can find on their website, we'll, we'll take apart the name and the Latin derivatives and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the etymology, yeah. The exactly. The Yep, so cool. We got a um, bunch of shows coming up. Find Lux on Facebook. Check out their new CD. And yeah, the 21st of August is the, is the um, Pure Cosmic Bop Heavy Space Jams Volume 5 featuring these guys, uh, Primate Fiasco, uh, who's the Slam Kitchen, and Party Band. Wow. So that's going to be a good time. That's going to be, that's just going to be, 
an amazing night at the Zorba Room. And they're doing shows now. Um, I mean, they've been doing shows for a while, but I think they're bringing it back. So come check out Lux and friends at uh, the Zorba Room, August 21st. Um, that should be fun. That should be a fun night. Cosmic Bop hasn't happened in over a year, so we're happy to bring it back. Now, I just want to remind you viewers at home and online that uh, you can check out the LTC sessions every month, the third Thursday, um, on Channel 8 or LTC.org. We're streaming live. And if you want to go downtown and check it out on uh, one of the TVs, the Last Safe and Deposit Company, shout out. Uh, they are hosting it every month. So go on down there and grab a drink, check out the show. Uh, if your band wants to play the show, um, send me an email, sessions at LTC.org and send me a demo, we'll get you guys on here. Next month, stay tuned for Surprise Party. Uh, rock and roll, uh, quartet, nice and loud, really fast, really awesome, should be a good time. So, any parting words from the luxurious Lux? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That yeah, Blair, I, got, I gotta ask you a question. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. You ready for this, lighting round? Okay, uh, coffee or whiskey? Oh, uh, uh, whiskey. <laughs> Good. Um, who's your favorite saxophone player? Mark Turner. Mark Turner, Boston guy, right? Uh, I think so. Or he went to Berkeley at least, right? Something like that? Okay, East Coast. <laughs> um, and um, let's see. I'm gonna crunch. <laughs> I really want to quiz you right now. Um, what's your favorite Miles Davis record? What's his first one? The, the one with the four songs on it. Uh, I don't know. Going with old school? Yeah, pretty oh. old school. Um, was Davis? it? No, that was fifty. That was late fifties. Oh, was that? I was going to use that then. My, she likes Miles' old stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Lux, stay tuned. Next month for surprise party, and uh, we'll catch you later. Again, I'm Seth. Thanks for checking us out. And uh, yeah, ltc.org. We're going to bring it back to the music. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. City off of our new CD. Uh, our next song is called One Mistake. <laughs> Cheers. 
That was one mistake. Our last song will be uh, Sugar High.
All right, we got through another one. I'm not even on site, and I can tell you this was one of the best shows ever. Maybe it's because I'm not on site. I'm in Boston right now shooting the remake of the Ghostbusters. They wanted a background person, and I figured I could fit into the background. So there I am. But you're here. You were here with uh, one of the great episodes uh, of the LTC sessions with Lux. We want to thank the crew. Uh, I want to thank my co-producer, Seth Balin. I want to thank the audio engineer, Pat Media. I want to thank the director, uh, Steve Maddock. Uh, I think we got Britt Wagner in the studio tonight. I think we got Aaron uh, King. I think that's a Aaron, not Aaron King. Mitchell Similian, who else is on camera? I don't know. I want to give a big shout out to Detention at the Last Save and Deposit Company because he's, he's holding these parties every single week, Thursday, uh, 8 to 9, whenever we're on the air. Go down, watch a show, do whatever else you do in a bar. Speaking of doing that, he is having a tandem festival next weekend uh, for some reason called the Faux Festival. That's F-A-U-X. That's French for fake because we're, we're doing an international here. I don't know what's fake about it. It's real bands. It's a real good time. It's going to be on the Friday, a Saturday, and next, uh, next week. That's the 24th and 25th. Is that correct? That is correct. So, uh, yeah, check it out. I mean, it, there's a cover charge, so I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just letting you know. If you want more information, check it out on Facebook. They got a page, and that page will stay up until after the event because that's how you plan things and execute things and do festivals. So, anyway, I want to thank everybody, part of the LTC sessions, keeping it live, keeping us on the air, keeping uh, the membership going. Uh, if you want to come down, do, uh, do a show like this, do a show completely different. It's uh, 35 bucks a year, best deal in town. Wait, I am having a uh, call to action here. Uh-oh, too promotional. Got to go. Maximus Sack checking you. See ya.